Wildlife Service officers who raided a home in Malil in the county of Makweni where an assortment of animal trophies were recovered. Among the items recovered from the house said to belong to a lady of Italian include an elephant foot. ATN's crime and investigative reporter Hussein Mohammed has the details. Hundreds of rounds of ammunition, weapons suspected to have been used to hunt, wildlife trophies found here in Malili, Makwini County. The shadows and intrigues of poaching against the backdrop of a raging war against poachers. One would mistake this for a museum, from elephant feet to buffalo horns, antelope horns to multiple wildlife items. Sources close to the police telling KTA News that wildlife trophy dealers and non-poachers are on the loose. Tuesday morning, an operation led by police detectives and KWS officers to this house belonging to Emma D. Gennaro, an Italian lady with who is said to belong to the African Professional Hunters Association. This certificate dating back to 2005 when hunting was banned in Kenya. Kufanya chukuli fulani ya kutafuta vitu ambavyo sivyo vya halali kulingana na habari ambayo pengine ilipitishwa na wananchi kuna kazi inaendelea katika e, boma hii e, kutafuta e, e, vitu ambavyo vina Amerika inaweza kuwa hapa kinyume cha sheria Joshua Mutua Kimilu, a farm hand to the woman who has been sourcing for market for raw elephant tusks, was arrested after he tried selling the items to KWS officers who posed as buyers. The Kenya Wildlife Service in a statement said two other suspected poachers were seized with seven kilograms of ivory in Tito and Day and will be arraigned in court. This comes amid raw anger across the country and world over the recent deaths of 11 rhinos translocated from Nairobi and Nakuru National Parks to the Savo. To lose our elephants would be to lose a key part of the heritage that we hold in trust. Quite simply, we will not allow it. The war on poaching took another turn when suspected ivory kingpin Faisal Mohammed's 20-year jail term was squashed. Faisal had been convicted of possessing ivory valued at 44 million shillings. Director of Public Prosecutions Nuruddin Haji has filed a notice of appeal following the decision. Sources close to KTA News say that the international networks of crime these as cartels continue to compromise authorities' mining point of entries. Police detectives are now looking for the main suspect who is believed to be hiding in Kilithi. Usain Mohammed, KTN News, Nairobi. A medical examiner.